Hello everyone, it's Varun here. I'm going to talk about uh, what are the customizer option we are getting with the Buddy X theme. The first option we are navigating back to the customizer. I'm going to explain one by one. The first option is related to logo, like uh, you can change your site identity, add your logo. And if you do not have any logo, you can also enable uh, to display site title and uh, if you have a logo you can use your logo skip cropping and it also gives you flux uh, functionality to set up your favicon from the same page like uh, you can use a site icon functionality and select any icon from your website to display on the top i'm just uh, using a random image at present skip cropping so that is going to be displayed on the top once it is published and uh, viewed from the front end the next option is related to general setting and inside the general setting we have a site layout it gives you flexibility to increase the container width of the website suppose that we are going to set uh, one for publish it will increase the container width and uh, we are also displaying all the layout in box and the full width in the box layout it is going to display like this one and uh, for the full width layout the header part will be stretched to the full width and the content area will be still the part of the the same width what we have set here uh, in the pixel the next is the site loader uh, it's just a optional option uh, to enable a loader when the page is getting loaded most of the time uh, we do not suggest to use this functionality for the page mapping, um, it is more specific to if you want to a, use a custom login page, you can create a new login page and map it there. You have to create that first and then you can map it. For the registration page, by default, it uh, when you are using BuddyPress or BuddyWatch platform, it gives you a default register page. By default, you can use it to map it to the same or if you are planning to use any membership plugin, you can create a custom sign up page and that sign up page can be utilized uh, here to map and whatever page you are going to map here that same page is going to display on the top when someone is log out and they are getting log out login and sign in options so the sign in option will use this value and if it doesn't have any value it will use the default buddy press register page mapping the next option we have is related to the typography inside the typography you can set a font uh, font type font variant font size text align along with the text transformation for site title and the site tagline if logo is not displaying you can control what font you are going to use to display your site title and the site tagline after that one we have the heading options uh, same for the h1 to h6 Heading option, you can set uh, all these uh, font variation. You can use the Google font or you can also use the custom font uploader to include any font, premium font, what you are planning to use it there. Okay. By default, it will load uh, the default uh, browser st standard fonts plus all the Google font are displayed there. The next option is specific to the menu, like uh, these are the menu locations and what are the font variation you are planning to use for the menu area. You can control from here and the next one is the body specific fonts so what font is going to be used in the content part they are controlled from here in this way you can uh, map all the typography specific option inside the typography the next uh, branding specific option you can find inside the site skin and uh, right now you can see that everything is uh, set as a some red and black color scheme and if you want to change the color scheme there you just have to start making changes like this one and it will start reflecting in the real time and you have a preview how your website will look like uh, with the color scheme what you are trying to make uh, as a custom selection so we have a given option for each and every element what we have used on the site you just have to pick the color combination based on your brand guideline to um, apply all the color options like this now you can see that I have had applied blue color for every link, hover and every effect. So 
these headings and the link color are modified in that way even the buttons are also getting modified with the from red to the blue one what i have selected here okay and uh, the same applies for the bottom section like uh, the links color hover color is also converted to the blue one so in that way uh, you can apply these color scheme changes from here for the site uh, branding point of view these are the two basic element first the logo second the typography and third is the site skin so it will cover your brand guideline after the brand guideline we are going to talk about what are the sidebar option how we are going to utilize the buddy press or buddy boss in the next video thank you